I am vlogging today because I am off to London for an event. It's only a couple of hours long, but it's with Mink Pink. And I have a couple of items of clothing from Mink Pink. It's one of those brands where I've like ordered from them and not realised that it was actually from Mink Pink until the clothes arrived. And then I've been like, oh, it's Mink Pink. I quite like Mink Pink stuff. And so um, I've been invited to this bloggers sleepover, even though it's just in the afternoon, with films and pyjamas. And I've seen a couple of photos um, uploaded already on their Instagram of the cute cupcakes they've got for us. And it just looks like a really fun, girly event because um, they've got new sleepwear being um, uh, blah, 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 released, launched, and it's going to be available on a couple of websites, including ASOS. If I don't get a pair of PJs today, I'll probably order myself some because they look so cute. Some of them are striped, and some of them have like big logos on, and some of them have like cute animal prints. So yeah, I'm really excited. So um, I wanted to go to that today. Um, I am just wearing this blue top from ASOS. They've definitely still got it, so I'll link it for you. And then I've got my polka dot jeans on from Topshop. And then these sandals from Topshop, but these are both really old. And you have to excuse my makeup and stuff on the floor. I don't have time to clear it up. Doug's just here finding music for his vlogs. Hello. I have my camera with me to take some photos today and my laptop so I can edit whilst I'm on the train. I have one more vlog to edit from before the weekend that we went away and then I've got two days worth of vlog footage from the cruise and then um, obviously today's vlog footage. This week I also need to film a couple of main channel videos. So much to do, not enough time, hence why I'm going to work on the train on my way up there. But it's not too bad because when I get to Charing Cross, Mink Pink have very kindly got me a car. So I'm going to have gonna have a car pick me up from Charing Cross, take me to this um, cinema place that it's been held at in Notting Hill. And then as soon as the event's over, they're going to get me the same car to then drop me back off at Charing Cross. And then I just have to hop on a train. Later. Um. I'll probably be back by like half six. Mm. Oh, flipping heck. It is chilly. I've got a little cardigan on underneath this, but my God, it's like really lovely weather. Oh, the sky's like really blue and the sun's out, but it's like really nippy. Ooh. I forgot to say, trust the train for me to get on to have no table seats um, it's completely empty but I think it's one of the old trains that has no table seats and not even table things to pull down here so I'm gonna have to awkwardly sit with my laptop on my lap <laughs> and I'm feeling really ill because yesterday well I had to call in sick at work I couldn't go into work yesterday I managed to edit a vlog later on in the day but um I felt really sick um, I was sick once um, I couldn't keep any food down so I've hardly had any food yesterday I managed to keep my food down this morning though and my stomach's still really bloated and really painful and uh, I've got bad earache and I just ache all over but I'm feeling a bit queasy now so I don't know whether I need to eat or whether I just feel a bit sick I'm not too sure oh well, this is cozy <laughs> just got to Charing Cross my train was a little bit late which means I'm gonna be about 15 minutes late for the uh, mink pink event which is a bit annoying because it's not a long event I'm gonna run to boots and get some water because I need to take some more paracetamol I'm trying to ignore the fact that I feel really ill but it's more turn the run and get my car hopefully I can find it oh look at this little bottle of Evian <laughs> Why are you back home and why are you wearing different clothes <laughs> yesterday turned out to be a bit of a fail i think the last time i recorded was at the train station i got in my car well not my car but the car that was collecting me i then got stuck in traffic for 40 minutes <laughs> which meant i was very late i had no opportunity at the beginning to vlog anything and take any photos nothing which i was really gutted about because everything was so cute there were little popcorn and like stripy little popcorn holder thingies and there were vanilla milkshakes with stripy straws and bags and bags of sweets and hot chocolate and ah and then there was a massive rail of all their pajamas that they've got um coming out and 
people could take them as they wished. I didn't realise that and obviously when I got in the film had already started. They played Clueless which is one of my all time favourite films. If you haven't seen Clueless watch it. But I sat there watched the film and then the film finished when we had to leave. I had enough time to select some items and pretty much all the items that I wanted had gone. I got a panda t-shirt pyjama top which I'm sure you'll see another time. I love and then just got a goodie bag full of sweets and cupcakes. So it was a really lovely event. It just got a bit ruined by the fact that I was late. So I didn't get to any good photos or any good vlog footage. And then I got into my car to go back to Charing Cross and that didn't turn up for ages. I think oh, maybe I was in it for 40 minutes. It would take 40 minutes to drive back to Kent. Oh, but oh no, because it's London and it was half five, we got stuck in rush hour traffic. I was an hour later home than I planned to be. Then I got home and I was absolutely starving, so I had my dinner and then I realised that I hadn't vlogged anything and oh uh, yeah. Today I planned on wearing no makeup, just lounging around the house and I edited a vlog, done some blog posts, so I would just continue to do work bits and planning for the next week or so. Then I got a text from Doug saying that the fireworks that we went to last year, which you would have seen in last year's Vlogtober, Doug was like, yeah, let's go, me, you, CJ, my sister. So I've, I've got myself ready. I plan on washing my hair tomorrow, hence why it looks a mess now. This weekend, Doug and I are having a weekend in Brighton. Friday night, we're gonna spend it with my dad. We're gonna see his new puppy. And then Saturday evening, we're gonna be meeting up with Marcia and Felix. I've not seen them since the last time I saw my dad when I vlogged in June. So that'd be nice. So I wanna figure out what I have for dinner because I'm hungry. Have you seen my mittens? I love these mittens so much. Look at them. I'm kind of at that age now where I think, am I, am I too old to be wearing mittens with cats' faces on? They're from ASOS, from a brand called Free People. I'll link them in the down bar. I've just kind of had to do this with my hair. Going for the uh, messy, the messy look. I'm hoping it stays in place. It feels really uncomfortable. You know when your hair just feels like it's gonna fall out? I feel like it's doing that. That's the problem with having short hair and needing lots of clips to make sure your hair stays in place, but also having thick hair. Oh, so a total change of plan. Uh, the place that we were gonna go to, to the fireworks for, but it's closed for renovation. I am going to go get myself a coffee and go get some, myself some food. So I popped to Tesco on my way home and I picked up, well, I went to go get some dinner and because I thought we were going to the fireworks, I thought we needed something quick. On my way to the dinner stuff, the savoury food, I saw that they had pity for Lou for a pound, so I had to pick myself up some strawberry and raspberry pity for Lou. And then I saw that they had some pasta on offer, it was like a pound for some fresh pasta. So I thought, oh, I haven't had fresh pasta for a while. Um, I'll get this because um, if we need to make dinner quickly, then it cooks within like four minutes. And then they have this tomato and mascarpone sauce, which I've not had a sauce like this for ages. So um, yeah, I'm gonna cook myself this up. Um, I'm only gonna do half because obviously it's just me. And probably gonna crack on with the second day of the cruise and get that uploaded and stuff. And then start on my blog post that I have to do for the cruise. Stirring everything together, I decided to just cook it all up, although I haven't done all the pasta. And I popped in some corn chicken pieces. As you can tell, it is now a lot later. It's 25 past 11, so for me to be makeup off in my PJs in bed at this time by myself as well, that is quite an achievement. I'm sorry if this vlog was a bit weird, having like two days randomly chucked in together, not much happening, but I thought I would keep you guys up to date a little bit. And the next time I vlog will be on the Friday when me and Doug go and visit my dad. Some of you think we live in Brighton, I don't live in Brighton. I don't live in Brighton or London. Lots of people seem to think that that's the only place that YouTubers Live. The reason why I have my pillow here is because um, I've got my new pyjamas on that I got a mink pick yesterday. But the problem with any pyjamas that I seem to like, they either seem to be white or slightly see-through. Which means, without a bra on, my nips like to make an appearance and so I'd rather not have my nips showing in my vlogs. I kind of want to show you the top, it's a panda face but um, you will see a little bit too much of me that I'm not prepared to share with you guys. So um, I won't do that. I might try and read a book. I'm so bad at just sticking to reading books. I was reading this book here, Paper Towns, and I was, I was getting into it. It kind of reminded me of Looking for Alaska, but maybe not as good. Even though I was getting into it and I want to know what happens, I cannot bring myself to read it. I like reading when I get into it, but oh, I can't put the bloody book back now. But I just can't. I just don't, I can't bring myself to read. It's a really weird thing that I have. I'm sure I'm not the only one that um, has that problem. Anyway, I'm gonna stop blabbing before I have hours and hours and hours of footage to edit as I always 
thing to do because I can never shut up. I will see you guys very very soon. Mm -hmm.